Hello and welcome to this tech tip from Will. In this video I will look at the different editions of Windows 10. Understanding which editions are available and what they are capable of will help you choose the right edition of Windows 10 for your needs. By the end of this video you will be able to identify the different editions of Windows 10 and will have a good understanding of what can be achieved with each edition. So let's get started. In this video I will look at 7 different editions of Windows 10. These are Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Professional, Windows 10 Enterprise, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB, Windows 10 Education, Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 10 Mobile Enterprise. Understand that the editions listed here are the Windows 10 editions that were available at the time this video was recorded. In the future Microsoft may release even more editions. Now that we've identified the different Windows 10 editions, let's take a look at what the editions can actually do. The first edition I will look at is Windows 10 Home Edition. As the name suggests, Windows 10 Home Edition is meant for use in the home environment. You should not expect to find it in a business environment. This is because a lot of the business features of the operating system have been removed in the Home Edition. Fortunately, these are features which your average home user is not likely to care about. In terms of feature set, Windows 10 Home Edition is comparable to that of Windows 8.1 Home Edition. However, Windows 10 Home Edition does include some additional features that are not found in Windows 8.1 Home Edition. The first of these is Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is a brand new web browser and was designed as a replacement for the older Internet Explorer web browser. Since Microsoft Edge is a new browser built from the ground up, it offers a number of features that are not available in Internet Explorer. Although it's likely that Edge will replace Internet Explorer entirely one day, for the time being at least, Microsoft has included a copy of Internet Explorer 11 with Windows 10 if you'd sooner use it. The next feature is Cortana. Cortana is essentially a voice activated personal assistant. In a nutshell, Cortana is to Windows 10 what Siri is to Apple. If your Windows 10 device has a microphone, you can instruct Cortana to perform certain tasks for you, such as writing an email, setting a reminder and performing a search on the Internet. With Cortana, the user can perform in seconds what might otherwise take a minute or two with a keyboard and a mouse. Next is Windows Hello. Windows Hello is a feature that provides a more secure way of signing in to your Windows 10 device. Traditionally, a user would secure their device with a username and password. Nowadays, though, there are a number of attacks designed to crack usernames and passwords. Unless your password is particularly strong, there's a good chance that, given time, it could be cracked by a determined hacker. With Windows Hello, the user is able to secure their Windows 10 device using biometric data, such as facial recognition, iris scans and fingerprint recognition, for example. Next we have Continuum. Since Windows 10 is available on a number of device types, such as desktops, laptops, tablets and even mobile phones, Continuum is designed to optimize the user experience depending on the type of device you're using. Continuum does this by assessing the hardware in the device. For instance, if your Windows 10 device has a keyboard and mouse present, Continuum will enable the traditional methods of interacting with the operating system and will give the user a mouse pointer. However, if a keyboard and mouse are not present and if your device type is touch capable, such as with tablet computers, Continuum will switch Windows 10 into tablet mode, making the operating system more touch friendly. One final point I'd like to make with Windows 10 Home is how its updates are handled. In earlier versions of Windows, users were given some degree of control over which Windows updates they installed and could even refuse Windows updates altogether if they really wanted. With Windows 10, this is no longer possible. With Windows 10 Home Edition, the user has no control whatsoever over how updates are handled. 
In fact, all security and feature updates for a Windows 10 Home Edition are downloaded and installed automatically, and there's no way the user can prevent this. Let's now have a look at Windows 10 Professional. Windows 10 Professional is primarily aimed at small businesses that require more business-like features. Windows 10 Professional comes with all of the features of Windows 10 Home Edition, but also adds some additional functionality. The first of these is Domain Join and Group Policy Management. If your network is using an active directory domain, with Windows 10 Professional you're able to join your device to the domain and manage it from the domain. Once joined to the domain, computers running Windows 10 Professional are then able to inherit group policies that have been implemented by an administrator. Next we have Microsoft Azure Active Directory Join. Microsoft Azure is one of Microsoft's cloud-based hosting platforms. With cloud computing now all the rage, and with more and more services moving off-premise and into data centers, if your Active Directory environment is hosted by Microsoft Azure, Windows 10 Professional is able to join an Active Directory domain that is entirely or partially cloud-based. Next is support for Client Hyper-V. Client Hyper-V is essentially a hypervisor which comes built into some Microsoft client operating systems. With Client Hyper-V, the administrator is able to build out virtual machines on their Windows 10 workstation. However, Client Hyper-V is only available on 64-bit versions of Windows 10. You cannot use Client Hyper-V on any 32-bit versions. The next feature is BitLocker. BitLocker is a feature that allows you to encrypt the hard disk on your Windows 10 computer. When a hard disk is encrypted, the contents of that hard disk are essentially scrambled so that the data cannot be read. The only way that data can be read is if certain prerequisites are first met, such as by entering a PIN number or by inserting a removable device, such as a USB flash drive, that has the required startup key stored on it. With sales of desktop computers rapidly in decline, mobile computing is all the rage nowadays. However, the problem with mobile computing is loss and theft. When travelling with a mobile device, you need to consider the possibility that the device could become lost or stolen. In a lot of cases, the data stored on the device is considered far more valuable than the device itself. With BitLocker, you can rest assured that the data on your portable device is encrypted and that your company's data and trade secrets are safe. That covers the features for Windows 10 Professional. However, you should know that Windows 10 Professional handles its updates differently to Windows 10 Home Edition. With Windows 10 Professional, updates are provided by Windows Update for Business. Essentially, this means that the administrator has more control over how updates are applied. Windows 10 Professional adds the ability for the administrator to defer feature updates for Windows 10. When feature updates are deferred, this essentially means that when Microsoft released brand new features for Windows 10, these features will not be downloaded or installed for several months. This does not affect security updates, however. With Windows 10 Professional, security updates are installed in the same manner as Windows 10 Home Edition. Security updates are always downloaded and installed automatically, and there's nothing that can be done to prevent this. The next Windows 10 edition I will look at is Windows 10 Enterprise. Windows 10 Enterprise is aimed at larger organizations that require all the functionality that Windows has to offer. Windows 10 Enterprise is the top edition of Windows 10 and thus has the most features. The first feature available for Windows 10 Enterprise is support for Direct Access. Direct Access is a VPN-like feature. Direct access allows the user to access the corporate network remotely when they're not in the office. What makes direct access different to a traditional VPN is that direct access connects the user to the corporate network automatically when the user has an internet connection. For instance, the user could be working from home using a Windows 10 Enterprise laptop. When direct access is configured, as soon as the user connects their laptop to their internet connection at home, the laptop will seamlessly connect to the corporate network, giving the user access to the resources they need to do their job. 
Next we have Windows To Go. Windows To Go is a feature that allows you to install Windows 10 Enterprise onto a USB flash drive. Understand this is not the same as creating a bootable USB flash drive. Bootable USB flash drives are simply flash drives that contain the Windows 10 install files. With Windows To Go, Windows 10 Enterprise is actually installed onto the USB flash drive, or to put it another way, the USB flash drive essentially acts as a hard disk that has Windows 10 Enterprise installed on it. A USB flash drive that has Windows 10 Enterprise installed on it is called a Windows To Go workspace. Once the Windows To Go workspace has been created, you can simply plug the flash drive into any computer across the world and boot Windows 10 Enterprise from the flash drive. The next feature I will look at is App Locker. With App Locker, the administrator is able to create App Locker rules which specify which applications are permitted to run on the computer. App Locker is particularly useful if you have a Windows 10 Enterprise computer which is available for public use, such as a kiosk computer, for example. In short, App Locker makes the computer more secure by allowing only specific, trusted applications to run. The last feature I will look at is Windows Branch Cache. Branch Cache is a technology used by businesses that have multiple sites or branches. More often than not, businesses that have two branches are connected together using a WAN link. This allows the two branches to communicate with one another. Now if the users in one of the branches are required to access files located in a second branch on a regular basis, this could generate a fair amount of WAN link traffic. Branch Cache aims to cut down on this traffic. This is achieved by caching, that is storing copies of the files that have been pulled over the WAN link. When a file is cached locally, this speeds up the access time to the file and helps you cut down on the amount of WAN link traffic between the two branches. With regards to updates, Windows 10 Enterprise operates in a similar manner to Windows 10 Professional. Windows 10 Enterprise also receives updates using Windows Update for Business. As such, Windows 10 Enterprise, like Windows 10 Professional, gives the user no control over security updates. However, you can still defer feature updates if you wanted. In addition to this, Windows 10 Enterprise customers also have the ability to access a special deployment of Windows 10 which is unavailable to other customers. This special deployment is known as Windows 10 Enterprise Long-Term Servicing Branch, or simply LTSB. Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB is a special edition of Windows 10, which is only available to Windows 10 Enterprise customers via Microsoft's Volume Licensing Service. In terms of feature set, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB is comparable to Windows 10 Enterprise. The only difference is that with Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB, there are no Cortana or Microsoft Edge features. In terms of updates, Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB operates in a very different manner to the other Windows 10 editions. The only similarity is that Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB receives security updates in exactly the same way as the other editions. Once again, the user cannot say no to the security updates. The big difference with Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB is that it receives no feature updates whatsoever. Windows 10 is an operating system that is continuously improved. Improvements to Windows 10 are distributed to customers as feature updates. However, for some enterprises, the idea of their computing environment continuously changing is not an attractive idea. Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB is aimed at businesses that would prefer their computers to remain in a known, static environment. Since Windows 10 LTSB receives no feature updates at all, no significant changes are made to the operating system. This is why Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB does not have access to Cortana or Microsoft Edge, since these features are forever being improved through feature updates. Essentially, the nature of Windows 10 Enterprise LTSB means that your environment doesn't change much, but unfortunately means that you miss out on all of the latest Windows improvements. The next edition is Windows 10 Education. 
Windows 10 Education is designed for use in educational establishments such as schools, colleges and universities. As such, Windows 10 Education is only available through Microsoft's Academic Volume Licensing. In terms of feature set, Windows 10 Education is practically the same as Windows 10 Enterprise. The only difference is that the Cortana feature has been removed from Windows 10 Education. This was done with the release of the Windows 10 Anniversary Update. According to Microsoft, Cortana was removed to prevent sponsored content being delivered to students through Cortana. Furthermore, at the time this video was recorded, Microsoft has stated that they're working on a version of Cortana that should be more appropriate for Windows 10 Education. Whether or not this will be added to Windows 10 Education in the future remains to be seen. In terms of updates, the main difference between Windows 10 Education and Windows 10 Enterprise is that Windows 10 Education doesn't give access to the long-term servicing branch. To use long-term servicing branch, you'll have to purchase Windows 10 Enterprise instead. That covers the main additions of Windows 10. However, I'd like to finish this video by looking at two more additions of Windows 10. They are Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 10 Mobile Enterprise. As the name suggests, these editions of Windows 10 are designed for smaller devices, such as mobile phones and small tablet computers. Windows 10 Mobile is, in many ways, similar to Windows 10 Home Edition. Windows 10 Mobile includes much of the feature set of Windows 10 Home Edition. This includes Cortana, Microsoft Edge, Windows Hello and Continuum. Windows 10 Mobile also includes a number of other useful features, including a built-in PDF reader, a mobile touch-friendly version of Microsoft Office, and even grants access to the Microsoft Windows Store for Business, allowing you to find, purchase and download apps for your mobile devices. The last edition I will look at is Windows 10 Mobile Enterprise. Windows 10 Mobile Enterprise builds upon Windows 10 Mobile and is primarily aimed at business customers. As an enterprise product, Windows 10 Mobile Enterprise is only available through Microsoft's volume licensing. With Windows 10 Mobile Enterprise, you get all of the features of Windows 10 Mobile, plus the ability to receive security and features updates quicker than Windows 10 Mobile users. Well, that covers the different Windows 10 editions. In the next video, I will look at the two different architectures that Windows 10 is available in, the 32-bit architecture and the 64-bit architecture, and we'll discuss the differences between the two. I hope this video has been useful for you. For more Windows 10 videos, please see our YouTube page. And remember to subscribe for more tech tips from Will when they're released. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip.